What's up YouTube? I'm Matt. Back today I'm going to do another video. Did a couple videos a few days ago on those two shootings in California. And I just wanted to come back and kind of re-talk about those a little, just a little bit. Um, originally I had thought that maybe they were related. I wasn't, that was no proof. That was just my opinion that somehow they were kind of linked together. And, and it's not showing that they are. The first guy, he... He committed suicide a couple couple times, or a little bit a little bit later. He went off and they ended up finding him dead. But he went off. But there was a, you know, it took him like, from what I heard, I think it took him like five hours before the police finally figured everything out and and could find him and all that. And so it just kind of goes to show you how how good the police force is. Sorry about that. Um. Yeah. But the second one, the the Half Moon Bay shooting, that one they they found him, or they didn't find him. He basically went to the police station to turn himself in, and he's he went there, and there was nobody in the lobby to to talk to, and he so he went back out to his car and he sat there for like two hours in the police station parking lot, just sat there, and as people were pulling up, they he was just watching him and they started finally circling his car taking pictures of his license plate while he's sitting in there and then they finally decided after two hours that that it was him and they were gonna and then they arrested him and took him in two hours sitting in the police parking lot to turn himself in it took him two hours that's a long time for for the police force to decide Oh, this is probably him. I mean, it's kind of a joke, you know. So that's that's why we got to protect ourselves. Somebody comes in and starts shooting. Two hours later, they they might figure out that the guy's trying to turn himself in, you know. But I originally thought they were kind of linked because of the the similarities in the shooters, where they were kind of older older Asian men, so I thought that maybe they were linked together, but apparently they're not, and the first one, I don't know if they found a motive yet, I haven't really heard anything more on that one, and like I said before, I don't think we're going to hear a whole lot about it, because the news isn't, like, out there a lot, because of, it's not exactly the narrative, and I said Uzi, but it was a Mac-10 that the, that the guy used, and same thing I mean basically similar anyway maybe not maybe not same thing but similar and I'll get some heat for that one they're not the same but they're not the same but they're close I mean they're they're similar similar style you know and but the motive of this guy he was he said he worked there for years and he was bullied disrespected mistreated worked long hours and his boss just ignored him you know and he just for years he was just mistreated and so just kind of goes to show you that it's not a it's not a gun problem it's a people problem people just need to take accountability for their actions you know and not you know don't bully people you know you bully people you you mistreat them and eventually their fuse is going to end you know some people have a short fuse some people have a long fuse and eventually that fuse is going to run out if you keep keep bugging them too much so it's not a gun problem it's a people problem instead of trying to take everybody's guns away which california pretty much already has they're pretty much they're one of the most strict gun law states out there but yet, two shootings within a week using illegal firearms and illegal magazines. And the second guy claimed he, he bought the gun in 21 from a store that, and he had no problems buying it. So it kind of kind of goes to show you that you know, where to buy this from in California at a store buying illegal guns 
apparently your gun laws aren't working. So it's just a matter of, it's not, a, like I said, it's not a gun problem. It's a people problem. Am I saying the people deserve to get shot? Well, no. But eventually people, they snap when you mistreat them too much. You know, and he claimed that he does have regrets for it. And he thinks he has some mental issues, mental health issues, which possibly he does. And maybe that's, maybe that's a sign instead of going after guns that maybe we need to go after the root cause, the real problem. You know, if he says he did it because he has mental health, maybe we should think about that. Maybe we should start thinking, well, mental health is the problem. Bullying is the problem. Disrespect is the problem. You know, and not listening to his complaining about the long hours. The employer just ignored him and let him just whatever, keep working, get back to work. And I mean, I, you know, he could have just quit, went somewhere else or did something else. But, you know, that's beside the point here. It's not, again, it's not a gun. It's a people. It's a person. The people did it. The gun didn't pick itself up and go shoot those people. And with all due respect, my condolences to the to all the victims here. And, you know, none of them deserve to get shot. None of them do that. I'm not trying to advocate for anything. I'm just... You know, none of them deserved it. But the problem is it's not, for one, it's not a gun problem. It's a people problem. For two, the first one took five hours to finally find the the guy. And he had already committed suicide since then. And who knows how long he, you know, how long he had been dead before they found him. But five hours. The next guy took two hours at the police station before he could turn himself in, he sat out in his car for two hours in the police station. It's, what are these What are these cops doing? What are these police stations doing? I mean, it's, you know, I mean, I, I get it. California is one of the most crime-ridden states out there. But seriously, what are they doing? Two hours at the police station. I think, you know, people people problem, California problem, do your job problem and don't bully don't pick on people just be you know be respectful where respect is due you know I mean obviously you're not going to respect somebody that disrespects you but there's other ways to handle it than going off shooting people but anyway that's pretty much all I got this is just again mostly my opinion I did get some facts based on on those to back up what I've recorded last couple of times so it's just kind of follow-up video on it and anyway appreciate you watching if you're new subscribe for more I'll put videos on a little bit more frequently if you are subscribed thank you you're the you're what makes this channel go if it weren't for you subscribers and viewers I'd be pretty much nothing so appreciate you hit that Hit that thumbs up. There's a super likes button if you feel like it. Appreciate you. Love y'all. See you next time.